CJ Knows Show. Hi, welcome to the CJ Knows Show. I'm Henry Rains, filling in for CJ Zaya, who can't be here due to unforeseen circumstances. But I am here with Addison Shea, and that is exciting to me because she is a global finalist in the Breakthrough Junior Challenge. She's one of 30 semifinalists. She's a high school student, just 17 years old, right here in Bradenton, Florida. She created an original science video and is now in the running to receive $400,000 worth of prizes, including a college scholarship, a new science lab for their school. And wow, that's exciting, Addison. And and I know you've, you've experienced a little inflation in your life, but $400,000 is still a lot. Incredible. And, yeah. So now that's broken up. You're you're going to get a scholarship. I'm saying this like it's done because it is done because our viewers are going to vote for you. But it comes for the winner gets $250,000 scholarship. Yes. So the winner would get a $250,000 college scholarship. Um, and then the school of that winner would receive an $100,000 science lab from the Breakthrough um, Organization. And then a teacher of my choice would get 50 grand in cash as well. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your choice. I thought it just automatically was going to go to the science teacher. You get to pick. True. Yes, correct. Oh. So have you found that the teachers are more friendly to you lately? <laughs> um, I've selected um, Mrs. Biggs. She's one of the support specialists at my school, and she taught me both AP Human Geography and AP Seminar. Um which was my first introduction into a research class. And I would really like to pursue research um, in college and beyond. So, Okay. Well, I got ahead of us a little bit. The, the Breakthrough Junior Challenge. Tell us what that is exactly. Yes. So the Breakthrough Junior Challenge is a global um, scholarship competition in which um, these contenders create a two-minute video explaining a complex science concept. So, for instance, my um, video explained chromatin regulation, which is basically one instance of how um, our stem cells can specialize into um, differentiated cells. So we have our muscle cells, we have our bone cells, but they all have the exact same genetic blueprint. So how does that work, um, right? Because um, they have all these different proteins, but they have the exact same instructions. So one of the ways that that happens is through chromatin regulation. And I kind of compare that to the cooking of pasta in my video. So which came first? You you're got the challenge and you came up with an idea or you had actually thought of this idea when you first learned about this topic? Um, so actually, I received an email from Khan, Khan Academy saying you should enter this challenge. Um, it's a global challenge. Create a video. Um, showcase your interest in STEM. And so for about a year, I was trying to brainstorm um, an effective analogy or topic that I could use. And I was sitting in my AP biology class when I learned about chromatin regulation. And we briefly covered the terms um, histone acetylation and DNA, DNA methylation. And I was like, oh my goodness, what if I could compare the DNA to strands of pasta? Um, and that oh, was if, I ever, if I just had a dollar for every time that came and crossed my <laughs> yes, mind, yes. I would still be broke. But you aren't going to be broke because we're going to help you win this. This is what CJ Knows Show Challenge. All the viewers and listeners, wherever you may be, you go on, look at the, dis, uh, the description of Addison Shea and what's going on. And there's a little clip, the, it's just a sample for you because we don't want to give it all to you. We want you to go to either the YouTube link or the Facebook link that's in the description. Be sure you use those links. Don't just Google it because you may not get the official challenge link. That's important. And we want you to click. All you have to do is, is you like it and you voted, right? Yes, correct. Just like the video. Um, and that would count as a vote for my video. And now that's not per household. So they can have mom get on her phone and the brother get on his tablet and dad get on the old Packard Bell or whatever he uses and and click. And so we expect multiple, multiple likes from every household within the sound of our voices. So let me go back to this. You, one of the things you said, you were brainstorming for almost a year. 
Correct. So I actually found out about the challenge in um, the summer of 2023. And um, I was trying to think of an effective topic that I could use um, during that time. And I also watched previous um, challenge entries, trying to just get a feel for the actual competition. And then you finally came up with this idea almost a year later. Correct. So it's not December 24. Yet. Correct. Yes. Yes. So, so with all your homework assignments, do you take this much time? Um, um, it, well, no, it's very no, clear that this, this competition has a lot um, of value. and the, You wanted the, to do it right. I wanted to do it properly. Yeah. But she's an a, AP scholar, correct? I used that term correctly, right? Correct. So, and she wants all of you aspiring AP scholars to know, don't procrastinate your homework. Get on it. Do it. And you may follow in her footsteps when she soon to be, by my predictions, uh, the, the winner of the Junior Breakthrough Challenge, because that's everybody's going to go click on those links, like all, both of them, and, and log into. Uh, most people have a lot of devices. So uh, they don't, they don't, uh, do they go by the IP address or the MAC address? Do we know that? It actually goes by um, either your Google address for the YouTube link, and then if you have a Facebook account, um, it would be one like per Facebook account. Oh, wow. Well, many of us could have lots of identities that we might be able to vote for you. Uh, anyway, that's another story. So, uh, Addison, before we let you go, i got to know a little bit more about you because we want people to appreciate who they're voting for. So. What are your plans after this? Okay, so I would really like to go into the environmental science field. So still STEM, but kind of a different branch. Um, and in college, I would really like to double major in environmental and computer science because in this ever-changing and increasingly technological world, um, those programming skills can be very useful when processing data in an environmental science research um, aspect. I, and I, this thought just crossed my mind, and, and, and I, I think when I looked at the challenge, it's, it's pretty evenly distributed by genders, or maybe it might even be a little bit more um, female gender distribution in the, the finalists. Am I, have you done a count, or do you know? I haven't run the data. You don't care yet. about them because you know who the winner is, and you don't need to know who 29 also rands are. Right. I see your point exactly. And your mom is here. I want to thank your mom, Julie, for bringing you uh, back. And it's not an easy ride to go through the traffic around here. We appreciate that. And I'm sure she right with me and planning on your victory celebration. Uh, but you're also an athlete, too. You got any, uh, you're a runner? Correct. Yes. So I run cross country at Lake Ranch High School. Um, and so I'm a proud member of that how's team. the team doing we're doing well we are have... you in the middle of your season now correct yes yeah oh, it's hot to be running outside it sure is <laughs> yeah the florida florida weather so and when does that season end um it depending on if we make it into um regionals in the states but it could end either late october or early november before it cools off Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the important Naturally. Part. Okay, so you're an athlete, you're a scholar. Uh, what about any um, uh, philanthropic work or? or uh, um, community service. Yes, that's the word so, I'm looking for. So um, I volunteered at Moat Marine Laboratory and aqu an Aquarium. Um, so I was an aquarium guide the summer after my freshman year of high school. Um, I also volunteered at... Um, the Bishop Museum of Science, and I was um, also helping around the museum. And then this past summer, I was actually um, an intern, or I guess it's a paid internship, but I was a paid intern at NASA Langley. So that was a virtual internship. Wow. And I just got to learn so much from these extremely knowledgeable um, astrophysics, astrophysicists. And All right. Okay. So... Community service, athlete, scholar, and y'all need to help her. Uh, wh what would you like to leave the audience with, Addison? Um, I would be extremely grateful if you would be willing to like my video on both 
um, YouTube and Facebook. And this community has just been so supportive of me throughout this competition. And I am entirely grateful for that. So, um, Addison, best of luck. We expect you back here to tell us about your success, uh, all your different successes in the future, but in particular, hit the Junior Break the Challenge. Check the description out. Click those like thumbs or buttons or whatever they put on those Facebook and YouTube pages. I think I was clicking thumbs up, but uh, I, I was. Don't worry. They, 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 it wasn't up. It wasn't. Perfect. No. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks to CJ for letting I sit in here. Thanks to Julie, your mom, for bringing you. And thank you, Addison Mostfall, for being here on CJ Knows. Thank you to all of you for this invitation. Um, it was a pleasure being here.